Hi there. In this video, I'll be talking about improving performance of DaVinci Resolve in your workstation. I've broken up this topic into three sections to keep the videos nice and short. So first of all, how could poor performance reveal itself? Well, one obvious answer is lagging. If I was to activate one of my clips and start to play it, you'll notice a series of figures in the top left corner of the viewer. Now right now it says 24 with the green light next to it. What it means is that I'm playing the video back at 24 frames per second, and the green light means that it's playing in real time without lag issues. What if I was to make this heavier to process? So let's say I go into my color page with the edit, and I'd already previously played around with the clips. If I start to play this video back, I might find that it takes longer for these figures to catch up, and in fact, for this particular clip, they remain red almost the entire way through. So the first simple thing you can do inside the edit page is to activate or deactivate all video frames in your viewers. To access this setting, click in the top right-hand corner of your timeline viewer. If you deselect showing all video frames, the software will focus more on playing back the video in real time rather than showing every single video frame, which means that yes, frames will be dumped and you might experience skipping playback, but at least you'll know you're watching it in real time. Show all video frames will focus on playing back every single video frame of your footage, even if it means not playing it back in real time. Uh, this is ideal for compositing because Generally, you want to preview every single frame and make sure that all your trackers are correctly lined up, that the grades are clean, etc. The next big thing you can do to reduce lag is to work with proxies or optimized media. This is what the next few videos will focus on, but essentially, proxies or optimized media refers to classic offline editing techniques. It means that you're making a copy or generating a duplicate of your video clips at a lower quality. You are then able to edit relatively quickly with these lighter clips before reconnecting to the original high quality footage when the editing workflow is complete. Lastly, if you are working with raw footage, you can also choose to reduce your decoding quality during the debayering process. The place where you do this will once again be inside the project settings. This time go into the camera raw option, select which type of raw footage you're using, and you can choose to change the decode quality of the footage as well as the amount of the bearing that will be occurring during playback. If you decide to go this route, make sure that during the deliver stage, you scroll down and expand more options, and select force the bear resolution to highest quality. So those are the three big ways that you can speed up your editing and grading processes inside of DaVinci Resolve 12. There's also a few quick fixes that you can apply. First of all, if you're working with interlaced footage, you might choose to disable Enable Video Field Processing. This is an option that combines your two fields into a separate frame every time your video is paused. Secondly, inside of Video Monitoring, you could choose to change your video bit depth. But do keep in mind that it will affect the quality of your colors and your grades. If you're doing something that's relatively quick and the quality doesn't matter dramatically, then you can very easily switch over to 8-bit and not have it affect your output too much. Third, you could make sure that Hide UI Overlays for Optimized Playback is ticked. This means that when you're playing back a video, you will not be seeing any of the on-screen controls. Things like power windows and split-screen views. And lastly, when you're image scaling, you can go for a bilinear resize filter. This is the lowest quality at which you can possibly resize your imagery or videos. However, if you do that, once again, make sure that during the deliver process, inside of more options, you indicate force sizing to highest quality. That will make sure that the process will not be bilinear, but rather at its sharpest. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time.